Hey ya, yeah. hi guys. If you have not watched my Mesopolimala video, I request you to go and watch it. So after trekking in Mesopolimala, we planned to go around Ernakulam and Kochi. We reached Ernakulam in the evening and after some time we planned to visit temple. Temples in Kerala are different. So it's a must visit. Later we left to explore nearby places. We reached Subhash Park which is just beside Marine Drive. The park was beautiful, huge with port view. Park opens after noon. The next day morning we left to Fort Kochi by ferry. Ferry starts after 7 a.m. for just rupees 6 per person and yeah there was another direct ferry from Ernakulam to Kochi for rupees 15. It took 30 minutes to reach to Kochi. These are the most popular Chinese fishing nets that are fixed to land for fishing. We took auto to go to Mutton Cherry. The auto driver told us he would take to the most visited place in Fort Kochi and fees was rupees 200 per hour. Fort Kochi is a Indo-European architecture which gives a European touch with people of different culture. Mutton Cherry is a historic place. Synagogue Lane with shops on both sides selling crafts, antiques and spices. Paradisi Synagogue, the Jeep's worship place. Next visited Jain's Temple and at 12.30 there was a pigeon show. After this, we visited Pepper House. If you watch Malayalam movie, then you might have seen this place. Yeah, that's right. In Premam, where George Mates sell in the cake scene. The next place we visited was Mutton Cherry Palace or the Dutch Palace. built by portuguese in kerala style and then repaired by dutch as cameras were not allowed in mutton cherry palace we couldn't capture any on the wall there were kerala style mural painting of ramayana and mahabharata explained with scenes and also weapons and palanquins of the kingdom were also displayed